first tonight, a man accused in a series of violent crimes, including pushing a nurse down a flight of stairs, was formally charged today. Only King Five was in that courtroom. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. We have been following Alexander Jay's case for two years now. King Five Sebastian Robertson joins us now from the newsroom with the latest. Sebastian. Joyce and Greg, the defendant Alexander Gray, uh, Jay, excuse me, spent one year in jail awaiting a transfer to a mental health facility. Since there were no beds available, the case was essentially paused. Today, with his competency restored for trial, He's been indicted on one count of murder, two counts of assault. March 2nd, 2022, surveillance video footage shows Alexander J pushing trauma nurse Kim Hayes down a flight of stairs at a Seattle light rail station. Less than 30 minutes later, investigators say Jay stabbed another woman 10 times, suddenly and without warning. That woman survived. Jay was arrested on March 3rd, held in jail and in August of that same year was tied to a murder of a man found dead the same night as the two other attacks. Brent Morgan Wood was found on East Olive Way with significant injuries to his head. If, you're, if he gets back out, he will repeat offend. And I have absolute 100 percent assurance. I, I know that that will happen. Nurse Kim Hayes feared the man who attacked her would never stand trial. Jay was found incompetent by the courts, was supposed to be transferred to a mental health facility. But due to the lack of beds, he remained in jail for one year. In exchange for violating his right to treatment, DSHS, the agency tasked with his care, was ordered to pay $250 for each day he was jailed, totaling $75,000. Jay pleaded not guilty to all three counts through his attorney. His bail is set at more than five and a half million dollars. Back to you.